and welcome to Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth, Rising Tide. So yeah, this is the uh, game that uh, didn't do too well compared to its predecessors. Still, still not too bad game though. I managed to, um, I haven't played the DLC yet, I've just managed to get that. So, uh, yeah. Which is quite surprising because a little while back I thought I was going to get it and it was pretty expensive but there was an anthology little bundle thing where I could get it with alongside Civilization 3 for like pennies. Didn't have to buy four or five because I already owned them. And uh, thought I didn't have any money in my bank but it turns out I did. But yeah, so I thought hey, I'll make this into a series. This might be interesting. And also turn down just a tad. Very beautiful game. But alas, let's begin. Setup game. Uh Mercury sounds good. I normally go on the baby modes, but it's about time I uh you know up to my game a little bit. Might go on this. I play I tried to do Diety yesterday on Civilization 5. Boy was it rough. If you ever want, oh, it's just fighting great war infantry with long swordsmen. Not too, uh, too amazing. It's pretty rough. I'll tell you that much. But yeah, well, it's, it's even more funny when you're fighting Shoshone great war infantry with English <laughs> long swordsmen while getting attacked by Siamese Siamese frigates. Pretty rough. Planet size. Hmm. You know what? We'll go standard. Eight players. Game pace, yeah, standard. We'll keep it we'll keep it standard. I don't know, we could go for a huge busty game, but who knows my might commit a genocide on my friends. Currently I have that sixty. So it's let's say let's hope it stays that way in the game. So we've got sponsors. We've got Alfala. Yield from city developments increased by 150%. The Ark Covert operations complete 30% faster and require one less intrigue level to attempt. Pan Asian Cooperative. The first one to build in every city is one is free plus one diplomatic capital from wonders. North Sea Alliance. Aquatic cities have 50% more combat strength and cost 50% less to move. May make planet fall at sea if available. Franco Iberia gain one free virtue for every 10 virtues earned of culture. Slavic Federation. All orbital units strategic resources requirements reduced by one. Site four petroleum, titanium and Gear for more resources. Oh god, there's quite a few. Yes, they added more of Rising Tide. I usually played as Brazil. Oh, that appears it might have been nerfed. Did they nerf them? I require Brasilia being like having buffs, like. You say heal faster in your own territory or something like that, and you could do that percent wise more damage. That was like very like militaristically powerful. You could really do some damage with them. But it appears to have actually been nerfed. Because I always played as Brazil when I played this. But. Might go North Sea Alliance because, you know, sounds pretty cool. Could get some city waters on the go. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and obviously Alliance. Test them out. Colonists, let's see. I uh, usually went... Oh, I don't know. Energy's good. Production... Engine is pretty important. Two production's pretty important. To get stuff done. So I might still stick with that, even though it's all these other ones are really good. The science is good, but we'll go with engineers. Spacecraft with Valiant Nests. And just energy off the bats. Could reveal the coasts. Why do I to start off with? I think getting this extra will be good. Extra 100 energy. Cargo. Begin with extra population in your city. Pioneering. I usually go with the extra. Ooh. Mm. I'll, gra I'll grab the extra soldier. Let's see. Choose planets. Go with this one, Batista 506E, Lush Terran World, a world with a few large land masses separated by oceans and some smaller islands. That sounds pretty good. It's like continental. I've got an advanced setup. I think I might keep its domination victory because I am bad at video games. Quick combat and quick movement. Oh, oh, oh. I've not. I might not turn that on because I haven't seen all the units, the new units, and it could be cool seeing all them move. I think we'll look good. So let's begin. Also, I've a uh, I've brought back the um, phone timer because you know with Civ, you can end up going on for hours. You like I'll play for like three hours, but then you end up bloody playing for like six. Duncan Hughes is well regarded as one of the top sport fishermen in the world. Duncan's largest catch, nicknamed the Abdonian Monster, or Abdonian Monster, was a 95 kilogram mutant Atlantic cod that, while too contaminated to eat, is still the largest cod caught on record. According to eyewitnesses, the fish was so large, Duncan was barely able to hold it for a photograph. He spent more than an hour reeling in the monster and more than once feared he would be pulled overboard. Man, that's one manly man, Duncan, right there. Good on you, Duncan. Nice artwork, though. I like playing in Brazil and just seeing the planets in the background, like the green and the space, and it was very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. I don't know if I would still get that cover art if I was to play as Brazil. But yeah, they uh, definitely nerfed them. <laughs> e right off the bat, in the drink. Let's go. Splash down. Right, we've got an explorer. Um, let's see. I guess we'll send the explorer out on the go. It's nice to get an explorer off the bat. 
you don't you don't get that with Civ Five. You have to get that. You have to purchase that unit, which is unfortunate. But there you go. Oh god, you get the, got patrol boat as well. I guess that's my military unit because I was saying they introduced with Rising Tide as well. Patrol boats, submarines, things like that. Um, I have the patrol boat like explorer as well. Oh man. Oh, I've had a lot of movements. Resource pod. Let's choose some production. Work out gunboat, patrol boat, soldier. Oh, can I actually. I might. Is it a work boat? <laughs> I don't know if I could actually work these tiles. Um. Well, for now, I will get the old earth relic on the go. That will provide me with crap. It provides me with nice things. Um, plus two culture and plus two capital. I don't think I'll move that city. I might do that at some point, but choose research. That's another good thing they did with this as well. They actually coloured the Tetri. It was just bland, like just grey and white and black. It's like, ooh. There's like no colour to it. And so if, if things were like culture, technology or energy or scientific or anything, you couldn't tell. Or military. It was like, it was all one colour. So you couldn't tell what was what without having until you had to hover over it and read it. So... Uh, our uh, economic advisor recommends chemistry. Our military recommends engineering. Our scientific engineer uh, advisor recommends planetary survey. Our culturist recommends ecology. Um, military. So we get a combat rover, firing reactor, repair facility, titanium. Science would get. The radar. Oh, we're allowed to be moved on ocean tiles. They probably changed this Tetri quite a bit as well. Don't know if you'll be able to get the same stuff as you'd be able to before. And I wonder if you still have that crazy ability where you could just choose where you could, like, with your warships. Choose to either have them to be able to carry each one fighter aircraft, or being able to move. And if you didn't deplete and fight that like move and fire, and if you didn't deplete all their moves, they could move again. So even after they fired their weapons, like attacked, they could move again. If they still had like some move to tiles left. It was really good. <laughs> but submarine all. Um, hmm. think I'll go. Ooh, 32 tens. I'll keep. I'll get things on the quick. Planetary survey. Domination. Right. Finally, let's go. Next turn. Oh, now the individual has arrived. Turn one. Yeah, they've completely, they've completely, they've completely reworked, reworked um, diplomacy as well. It's not the same anymore. It's not like the Civ Five because it was essentially a copy and paste. But they, uh, oh, that's bad. They gave it a good tweak. They completely reworked it essentially. It didn't even, they didn't even like just like slightly improve it. It's like a complete rework. Different system. 